Abidjan, we've seen legendary Austin Nokocha uh, talking to the players and telling them that they can do it again um, against all odds um, at the African tournament. Another legend of the Nigerian game, the mathematical Shegu or Degbami, has been speaking to the boys ahead of today's game. And we have uh, his submissions uh, captured um, on the program. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll show you that, and after that, we'll go on a commercial break, and the show will return. This is the moment. We don't need no reason for hair tire. Everything we don't need to do. Now, to make sure that it won't happen now, go happen. And the same for Johnny I. In the show, say ready. And now, COVID 19, bring Johnny and his wife. Come here. Because she get belly, it's get very important for her to get the vaccine to avoid serious sickness. I'm going to achieve what is strong. Go. She said this is bongo. Don't no worry. She should go for it. He's on the call. 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 My husband yeah. did the team vaccination matter play. Yeah. Just say you like the team way important pass. Make sure say those will get better. Or those way old. Or those will get serious sickness. Get the COVID-19 vaccine. This message now from the Federal Ministry of Health and Social Welfare through the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency with support from the American people. I believe it. You are winning it. I've not done this before. I'm doing this because I believe it. I want you to believe it too. Not just belief as in belief in for mouth only. No. It's genuinely from inside to go there now and start to play like champions. Because you are good. And confidently you can play it. You can play it. Oh, you can play it. I can see it. I saw one of the best and most masterful displays of the right wing in I know. That's your last match. They should go and copy it and send it to every football school in the world. You don't want to know how to play that position. Look at that mistake. <laughs> no, it's true. It's masterful. In determination and composure, you are just absolutely brilliant. And you can go on and on for all the players who are going to entertain us who are going to win for us and win for yourselves look i believe it i'm here to encourage you to wish you well and when we watch you well tomorrow it's going to be a tough match it's going to be a difficult match because that's how it is in our tradition where we win one and everybody is saying oh yeah yeah the next one is easy that's when it is difficult I don't expect an easy match, but confidently, calmly, coolly, take your time, do the things you know how to do best, under any circumstances, you will win. I will be with you here till the end. God be with you, God bless you, I wish you the best of luck, and I'm here, because we take that cup together. Thank you very much. We don't have much to say. Like I said earlier, we're going to do the talk in the pitch. As you can see, yesterday we do one of the talk in the piece, so inshallah we will continue doing that till the final, February 11, so that we will go back to Nigeria very happy. We will keep on doing our best to make Nigeria proud. And once again, we are sending, we are sending all our support to Nigeria, the way they support us and for the prayer. So we don't have much to say, we say thank you very much. I believe it's the opening of successes to come by the grace of God. Because uh, playing with the host country and uh, getting the results at that very critical moment is very, very important for this kind of tournament. Yesterday, the government even declared public holiday just for that match. At the opening match, even at the president of the country was at the stadium, they were only able to mobilize 36,000 pounds. But yesterday, it was, it was 49,700 and something pounds, just to tell you how serious they took the match of yesterday, uh, but uh, God on our side, we are able to make it with the characters that we will show yesterday. TVC Sport Desk. All right, let's quickly do a recap of uh, fixtures coming up today in Group A. 
Nigeria will be up against uh, Guinea-Bissau and the host nations, Ivory Coast, uh, will be up against Equatorial Guinea. Both matches will be played simultaneously in the two stadiums in Abidjan. That's it on your screen as we speak. Let's take a look at what Group A looks like at the moment. I can tell you for free that the Super Eagles are not top of the group at the moment, but Coach Joseph Pesero says that is the target. He wants the Super Eagles to finish on top of the group. Equatorial Guinea, a win and a draw, and a plus two goal difference courtesy of that 4 2 win over Guinea Bissau puts them on top of Group A. Uh, same point with Nigeria. The host nation are third with three points, and Guinea Bissau have nothing to show for their efforts in two matches. Former Super Eagles goalkeeper, best on the continent during his active days, and fondly called Dodo Mayana, Peter Rufai joins the program live at this time. Glad to have you on the program. Well, the Super Eagles are looking to top Group A, but Guinea-Bissau is standing in the way. Guinea-Bissau have lost two matches on the bounce, and, and they have their backs against the wall. How difficult is it to play against a team that is down and fearing no fall? Um, uh, thank you, for, thank you, first of all, promise, and uh, my pleasure to join you on this Zoom uh, uh, conversation. Um, first of all, uh, I really want to congratulate uh, the Super Eagles once more for their, their beautiful performance uh, against the Cote d'Ivoire. Um, looking into the uh, match uh, against uh, uh, Guinea-Bissau, I strongly believe that Nigerian Super Eagles are going to sail through. As long as the principle of the game maintained, the principle of the defense was very lovely. Uh, the principle of the uh, attacking formation was so nice. The strategy, the tactical strategy was so nice. Uh, the fact that the players were able to maintain the disciplines, you know, just gave the Super Eagles that edge at the, la at the second half over the Ivorians. I hope they, you know, pick up from where they stopped and raise the bar. And I'm very sure that the, with the performance we saw, that they are going to do very well. The defensive um, principle between Seido, um, Ajayi, Ola, I know, and uh, Ekon was fantastic. In between the, the defense and the goalkeeper was, was fantastic. I was so impressed. The goalkeeper, you know, just impressed me because of the, the conditions, his personality, his presence, and very promising. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, winning against the host nation, like you just mentioned, is no doubt a moral booster for any team. But do you really consider this Super Eagles team solid enough to be African champions in February? Um, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very convinced. Convinced in the sense that when you look at the players we the Super Eagles parade from the bench, you know, up to the uh, uh, 11 players that we lead, they are all, you know, well-to-do players. Uh, they are applying their, their career abroad, except, of, uh, except one or two players that are playing, you know, applying their career back home. But for the rest, they apply their career abroad, not just today. They have got, they've gained a lot of experience out there. Compared with what we, they, we are going to see today against uh, Guinea-Bissau. Now, we are looking at it from the beginning to the end. The Super Eagles had was to take. We are talented. We have the players. All we need is game plan. As long as the uh, Jose Tesero can calm down, maintain his tactical you know, uh, strategies, maintain the principle of play, and the players themselves stick into the principle of play and maintain that they, they, they execute at every given time. Mm. And at the same time, maintaining the fact that there is time management to every tactical formation. Mm. When they see that the tactical formation they apply, it's not fitting. The tendency to quickly readjust, you know, should be advised by Jose Pesero. Mm -hmm. And that is where Jose Pesero now comes in with his technical skills. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the uh, Super Eagles getting to the final, I strongly believe in the squad. I know they can do it, and they have just shown us a little bit of it against Côte d'Ivoire, and I'm 
trusting them and believing that they're going to carry it all through. All right, before I let you go, let me talk about the goalkeeper quickly. As a former goalkeeping legend, uh, what are your thoughts, uh, your objective thoughts about the new man between the sticks for the Super Eagles, uh, Stanley Wambili? There have been a lot of conversations about the goalkeeper, um, and they've all been divergent. Some say he's calm and confident. Others say he is yet to be tested by a quality team and cannot give a holistic assessment. Uh, one thing about goalkeeping, Goalkeeping is not because um, you are not tested. Goalkeeping is not because you have not received uh, so many shots. Goalkeeping is all about how you manage the game situation. You can manage the game situation due to tactical formation and there will be no test. It does not mean that the goalkeeper is not good, but the tactical formation applied by the, uh, by the manager, by Jose Pesero, may may disable all the efforts of the opponent testing the defense and testing the goalkeeper. So all depends on that. And once a team can come out without testing the goalkeeper, that means that uh, defensive principles was well executed. And on that ground, uh, Stanley Wabali has really showed something I observe in him, the presence. He has the presence. Stanley Wabali has the control. Stanley Wabali has the timing. I enjoyed the timing. Now look at the first instance where he was one-on-one. -on -one. You know, it, the first chance that uh, Cote d'Ivoire got, the way he narrowed the angle, the way he came out, the way he was so confident and took the position, and that was the beginning of his, you know, saving, uh, having a clean, slate, uh, a clean slate on that day. So I really That's believe that enough. with what we have seen so far, Eagles goalkeeper legend live on the show today. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your thoughts with us on the program today. Thank you. All right. Well, the Super Eagles left Nigeria with a mantra, let's do it again. And the win over Ivory Coast further underlined uh, the possibilities in that slogan. Well, having defeated Ivory Coast, the host nation, it now seems impossibility is nothing for the Super Eagles. So let's do it again. Cameroon defend for this second half, oh, but what a strike! What a 